welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. It's been a long time since I've used that intro. Anyways, don't judge my appearance. I look like a drowned rat because I got caught in a rainstorm as I was bringing the groceries inside. But I am going to be sharing with you guys today all about how I refill my fridge after going grocery shopping and how I food prep. I have a couple of things that I'm food prepping and you guys will get to see exactly how I do it. I'll link any kind of recipes down below. I'll let you guys know how we like things. And yeah, let's just get right on into it. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure you like and comment down below what your favorite thing to always have on hand in your fridge is. It can be a condiment or it could be something that you food prep. I'm just super curious to know. Make sure you subscribe before you go in case you like these videos. I'd love to have you as a part of the family. We are now 10,000 strong, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much for that. All right, let's hop into it. I just got back from a Costco haul, so I'm gonna be putting that away. I also have a Kroger haul coming in the next day or so, so you'll see my outfit change. But this is exactly how I do it. I put everything on the counter that needs to go in the fridge or in like one of our pantry cabinets up here and we'll start there. I should also show you, this is the current state of our fridge. Definitely looking a little bit bare. We have some like almost empty containers of a few things. Definitely needs to be restocked, but I'm gonna clean it out first just really quickly before I do that. Make sure that all of like the rotten food or anything like that is gone and then clean out some of like the um, shelves and drawers. <laughs> All right, it is cleaned out now, but you can see we're definitely bare bones here. We've got plenty of our condiments and all of that, but we need to refill this baby. Tui Tika, what do you think you Tika doing? So I like to keep all of my veggies down here and meats if we have any. So right now we have some bacon that I've got defrosted for baked potatoes and bacon. And then I usually like to keep lettuce in here, which is what I'm gonna do this week, if it fits. also got some bok choy so I will keep the bok choy in this drawer down here that way it's kind of out of the way and I can just close it. Can you bring me your dish? I also like to keep our peppers cold. Whenever I get them in the big bag like this, I tend to just leave them in the bag because it keeps them all contained. And I have room this time on top of my bok choy. So I'm gonna stick them in this drawer down here. I like to wash my bell peppers right before I'm ready to use them. That's how I do most of my stuff except for some of our fruit. We've got our cucumbers, which I always keep in this larger basket. And I kind of stand them up so that I have more surface area. And then I put the mushrooms off to the side here. And then I usually keep our already cut up mushrooms also off to the side. If you're wondering where I got these fridge organizers, I got them from Costco and I love them. They're still selling them there. So I like to stack all of our veggies just right back here. You can see I have them stacked like right in a line. And because I meal plan, I know what I have on hand because I buy the ingredients for that. So I keep all of our veggies down here. This drawer is where I like to keep all of our fruit. Even if I have like blueberries, I will already go ahead and wash them, put a paper towel in the bowl and then set them right in there so that Logan can come and get some. But raspberries are something that you should not wash until you're ready to use them. And then I like our apples to be cold. So I just keep them in there. 
because we have constraints on where things can go in this tiny fridge, I just put our butter lettuce up here and kept it in its packaging. These guacamoles are a perfect example of something that I'm going to open up and kind of split up. I know I can't eat all of these within the time frame, and I can really use some of the fridge space to stay for other things that we're gonna get later in the week for Kroger. So I'm gonna probably put about half of these in here and half of these in the freezer. Just like a quick side note, tell me those sandwiches don't look so good. Along with things that I wanna put in the freezer, I have this organic fresh chicken breast here that comes in three packages. And then I have this organic turkey. Um, again, both of these are from Costco. And so I'm just gonna split these up and throw them into the freezer. Even if I'm like, okay, I know I only need one chicken, I don't keep two of them connected. I always cut them up because it's gonna be so much harder to do that after they're frozen. And then I usually like to make one of these big boxes that I get from Costco, my trash box of things that need to go away. So they're all cut and ready to go. I'm actually gonna throw all of these but one chicken into the freezer because I don't need any of this yet. And then immediately after I will wash these scissors in the dishwasher and throw all this stuff away and then clean the counter because you never know if there was something also in the meat case that was leaking on top of these and then wash your hands as well. Try not to knock over our pals here. Eh, I'm gonna need to reconfigure, hang on. Perfect, so here's what we've got in here. We have the rest of the guacamoles, we have the two turkeys, some chicken, and then we have our frozen fruit right here, some cheese that I froze that we didn't need quite yet, some more frozen meat, it's actually bacon. We have some popsicles down here, and then some frozen rotisserie chicken, some more frozen chicken breast back there. We're looking pretty good. I have my fruit section over here that I like to keep in the corner of the room. I swear the fruit section never looks nice, which I feel like I don't really know how to make it look nice. I need obviously a much smaller fruit bowl. We have most of our oranges are gone now and I have the apples in the fridge because I have room. So I'm going to downsize my fruit bowl, which will help with some space. I will throw them in the corner like I usually do. I just kind of stack the rest of my fruit back there as I can because eventually like these bananas won't all be here. A lot of them will be ripe. Some bananas. And then here's what I have left. So tomatoes, you are, n I don't know if, like what you're supposed to keep them by and not, but you're not supposed to put them in the fridge. So we'll keep them out here. Granola can go up in our pantry as well as this applesauce. So here's what my pantry is looking like. You guys are probably like, oh, it looks great. But <laughs> first of all, it's a little unorganized. I need to do a new pantry organization with you guys. But this is our snack bin for Logan and it's really empty. So I'm gonna pull this guy out and refill it with all of these applesauces. Here is what our snack bin looks like. I have a bunch of the applesauces in the back. I honestly will probably add more of the like fruit and veggie patches that we have, but I left them in the garage. And then we have some fruit snacks, some Annie's fruit snacks right over here that I got on sale that we're still working through. And then we have some of these guys that we got from Costco as well. They're really good. The issue is that he doesn't like this flavor. He only likes the uh, pineapple and passion fruit and then the raspberry lemonade. We have two of these Bobo's oat bites that I got at Kroger one time. And you guys, they're like hard as a rock. You can hardly eat them. So we're still working through those too. <laughs> oh, the lighting is terrible in here. Sorry guys, it's kind of dark outside. For this Costco haul, this is all I need to do as far as prep work. This was a really easy Costco haul for me. And if I have a rotisserie chicken, I will go ahead and cut it up right now. It's way easier to cut when it's warm. If I have any kind of fruit that will stay good while washed, I will go ahead and wash it now. But as for everything that I got, I don't want to wash it quite yet. So Kroger haul coming up next. I just got home from our Kroger haul. So I'm going to show you how I fill things back up in our food storage as well. We ended up getting two of these gluten-free pizza crusts which I already have like a little spot for them over here. So I, I like to keep them down here so that I keep more room in my pantry upstairs because it's so small. And then I'll put the mac and cheese in front of it because I can see the one behind it. I put all of our spaghetti down here as well as like the short noodles 
These actually need to go upstairs with me. I'm gonna fill them back in his snack bucket, the one that you guys saw from the Costco haul. And he tried these today and loved them. If you guys have seen my food storage video, I will have it linked down below. I've actually done a couple of them, just showing you what I have in my food storage and how I like to keep it organized. But if you've seen that, then you know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just putting a lot of the cans down here, if not all of them. So we bought two corn this week. We're trying some corn to see if it still bothers us. And then I also keep large condiments that we haven't opened yet or don't need yet right down here um, on this shelf. After I've put everything into our food storage, I like to come up here and just kind of pull it all out of the bag so I can see what I have, where it needs to go, make sure I didn't forget to put anything down in the food storage. <laughs> The first thing I'm gonna do is put away the perishables like these yogurts, the cilantro needs to go away, and the meats and things like that. So that's where we're starting. Everything else that is left is either not perishable or like the grapes that need to be refrigerated. I'm gonna show you exactly how I prep those. And right now I'm gonna put away the things that belong right here in this pantry. fruit bowl back there you can see I like to take everything out of like the little packages like this and then the flour didn't end up fitting in my pantry like this so I had to take it out of the package as well the very first thing that I'm gonna food prep and show you guys is these gold Yukon potatoes that I got at the store I'm just gonna go ahead and give them a really good wash first then we're gonna throw them into some boiling water on the stove Right here, I have a boiling pot of salted water that is at a rolling boil. And we're just gonna try and boil these whole. This is the first time I've ever done this recipe, so I'll let you know. But this is what we're having for dinner tonight. We'll let those guys boil for a couple minutes. The reason that I kept out this unsweetened soy milk right here is because I am actually going to make some homemade vegan butter. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. This is the first time I've ever used this recipe. I'm gonna make a double batch if I'm going through all the trouble. So I've got a cup of unsweetened soy milk in here, and then I'm gonna add in four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and let it curdle for five minutes. I didn't mean tablespoons, I meant teaspoons. We need to be multitasking at all times. So while my milk is curdling, I am going to wash my grapes and I will wash them all at one time because we'll go through them so fast they won't go bad on us. But basically I just fill up a big basin of regular like tap water and then I add in an entire solution of Force of Nature Cleaner. I'm not exactly sure if this is like the right ratio. It's probably not. You can look it up on their site if you need more help. And then I like to take the grapes off the stem because you gotta do it at some point and then it makes it easier for everybody to go into the fridge and just grab a handful of grapes. Put it in the water and then once everything is in, I will time it for about 10 minutes, let it all soak and then we'll rinse them off and go from there. Now that my milk has curdled, I have two cups of melted coconut oil and then a half a cup of avocado oil and then some salt. I'm just gonna pour that guy in. Ooh, fun. And then we are going to whisk. Okay, scratch that. You can totally mix by hand, but I got other things to do. So pouring mine into the blender and I'll let the blender do the work. Work smarter, not harder, right? With these grapes, they are all washed and ready to go. I'll just put them in the fridge right like this, open top so that everybody can grab a handful as they go. 
Update on the butter, you guys. I had to taste it, obviously. It kind of looks like mayonnaise right now. Like that's the consistency, you can see that, but you're supposed to put it in the fridge and let it harden. You can also freeze it. I'm gonna freeze half and then use half. It tastes so good and it's so much cheaper. I'm like blown away. Yay. Okay, I'm so happy. But we need to get our potatoes in the oven. So I went ahead and um, strained them out. They're pretty much fully cooked through. And then we're gonna take them over here to the stove and I'll show you. So I just put them in a glass baking pan and then I have my oven set to 425. And I'm just gonna smash them as much as I can. <laughs> They're just hot, so I don't really wanna touch them, but it would be easier if I could hold them. So maybe I need an oven mitt, but the more you crush them, the more crispy they're gonna get with all their little edges. Then I'm gonna take my butter, and even though it hasn't hardened yet, that's okay, because it needs to melt anyway. Kinda looks like sour cream, but it's butter. Homemade vegan butter. And then we're just kinda gonna like mush that around, you know? I feel like the more butter, the better. Then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on, a little bit of garlic powder, some oregano. I bet that ought to be good. We're gonna throw these guys in the oven, 425, until they're crispy. Here is our butter. I'm gonna put it into the fridge. As you can see, I'm not actually freezing any of it because I don't have any small enough containers that are clean right now to freeze it. But if we don't end up using something before the two to three weeks is up, we will freeze it. Okay, you guys, it is that time for me to say goodbye. I will show you a little montage here of how the potatoes came out and how we ended up plating them and putting them together. We added them with some peas and some bacon, a little bit of sour cream for me, vegan sour cream. And then Derek and Logan had some cheese on theirs. It was so, so good. If ever you guys are wondering how my meals turn out or what we are eating daily, I share tons and tons of recipes over on my Instagram stories. So be sure to head over there and I will see you guys next time. Bye.